Structure introduction. At the top left of the machine is an alarm light. According to different alarm levels, there are high, medium, and low alarm prompts. The bottom of the machine is the switch key and the control jog shadow. The right side are shortcut keys. Record key. When the device is configured with a printer, press this key will automatically print the measured parameters. Waveform freeze key. A short press will freeze the measured ECG waveform, which is convenient for doctors to carefully check the abnormal ECG waveform. Blood pressure measurement key. Press once to inflate the cuff and measure blood pressure once. Patient object setting key. Set the basic information of the patient in this interface. Machine accessories introduction. The right side is the print slot. The printer is an optional function, and the standard configuration does not have the printing function. Under the machine is the battery cover, which contains a high endurance lithium battery. The left side of the machine is the sensor interface. This is our stand accessory. The first ECG lead cable. Our stand configuration is the five lead ECG lead cable. There will be a slot here. Align the slot on the machine when installing it. Next is our blood oxygen probe. Our stand configuration is the dot blood oxygen probe. The interface has a slot, and the installation is aligned with the notch on the machine. The last one is our blood pressure cuff. Connect the blood pressure cuff to the blood pressure extension tube. An extension tube is connected to the blood pressure interface of the monitor, and the interface will automatically jam. Interface display introduction. Press and hold the power button for three seconds to start the monitor and enter the operation interface. At the top of the interface is the status bar. The first item is the time setting. Click to set the specific time. The second item is patient management. Patient information can be set here, and the default alarm limits for adults, children, and newborns are different in different modes. You can choose whether the pacing analysis function is turned on or off. Click this option to clear the existing data and create a new patient file. The third is the alarm area. It can display the alarm event, the name of the alarm event, and the time of the alarm. Click the ECG setting in the upper right corner. You can set alarm switch, alarm level, alarm record, upper and lower alarm limits, and the source of the heart rate can be obtained by selecting ECG or blood oxygen probe. Click ST analysis. You can set the alarm switch level, upper and lower limits, etc. Click ARR analysis. You can set alarm switch level, upper and lower limits, etc. Click the setting of the HRV analysis to check whether HRV problems occurred during the monitoring period. Below is the blood oxygen value display. After clicking to enter the blood oxygen setting interface, you can set alarm switch settings, alarm level settings, alarm records, waveform speed, pulse volume, and measurement sensitive below, all of which can be adjusted. On the right are the upper and lower limits of the blood oxygen and the pulse rate alarms. Below is our respiration rate. The respiration rate setting is mainly to set its respiratory leads. There are four respiratory leads that can be selected to make the respiratory rate monitoring more accurate. Below is the end tidal carbon dioxide setting. This is an optional feature that can set alarm switch, alarm level, alarm upper and lower limits, etc. Click on other settings to set the balance gas, calculation circle time, humidity, composition, oxygen composition, 
anesthetic gas concentration and current atmospheric pressure value. Below is non-invasive blood pressure. Click to enter the blood pressure setting interface. You can set the measurement mode. There are three modes, automatic mode, continuous measurement, and manual mode. The bottom is the body temperature setting. Our device supports dual channel body temperature measurement. And the right side is the body temperature alarm setting. Menu bar introduction. Below the display area is our menu setting bar. This is the stand interface, dynamic trend interface. The real time waveform is in the middle of this circle, and the parameter trend graph is on the left. You can see the trend changes in the parameters within two hours. Oxy CRG interface display. This display mainly integrates heart rates, respiration rate, and blood oxygen saturation. The other bad observation interface shows if there are multiple devices in a department connected to the internet, we can view the parameters of the bad monitor through the network. Large font interface display. The main parameters are enlarged and displayed, which is convenient for medical monitoring. This is the alarm silence. This is the record key. The function of these two keys are the same as the shortcut keys. Next is the information reviewing. There are five items here. The first item is the blood pressure reviewing. You can revisit historical blood pressure measurements. The second item is a review of the alarm events. First, select a certain period of time and start to query the alarm events within this period. The third item is the trend graph review. Here we can see the long-term trend changes of the old parameters, such as our heart rate, respiration rate, body temperature, ST segment, blood oxygen, blood pressure, blood temperature, etc. The fourth item is the trained list. In the form of the list, a set of data will be recorded at regular intervals. Here you can select the recording interval. The fifth item is waveform playback, mainly for ECG waveform blood oxygen waveform, and the respiratory rate waveform. There are the contents of the reviewing interface. Next is the waveform freeze. Next is the lock screen. After clicking, the shortcut interface is locked and cannot be clicked into. Next is the non-invasive blood pressure. Click to measure blood pressure select, and then it will be unlocked on a standalone basis. Next is the main menu. Next is the alarm setting, which can set a parameter such as ECG, blood oxygen temperature, non-invasive blood pressure, upper and lower limits of the respiration rate, etc. Next is the sound setting. There are five types of volume, which are heartbeat volume, pulse volume, key warm volume, alarm mute time, alarm volume, click to adjust the volume of these parameters. Next is patient management, which is the same as the patient management function in the status bar. Next is the system standby, you can set the shutdown. Next is the automatic measurement, you can set the time interval for the automatic blood pressure measurement. Next is the calculation of the drug concentration. You can set total amount, concentration, dose, and other values of the drug to facilitate the reference of data during the medical routes. Next is the train table display. You can view the parameters changes corresponding to each parameter. Next is the train graph display which can display the train graph changes of the parameters. Next is the non-invasive blood pressure review. You can view the historical measured blood pressure values. Next is the waveform playback. You can play back the waveform. Next is the screen brightness. You can adjust the screen brightness. Next step is to record 
the output settings, which is convenient for doctors and nurses to capture the moment when the parameter is abnormal. Daily maintenance. The monitor should be cleaned and disinfected regularly. It is recommended to use ethanol and amino. The monitor should be cleaned and disinfected regularly. It is recommended to use ethanol and ammonia and ammonia when cleaning. And please turn off the monitor, disconnect the AC power, wipe with the cotton ball, and finally dry with a dry cloth. After twelve months of continuous use of the monitor, it is recommended that qualified maintenance personnel conduct a comprehensive inspection and a calibration.